a scene becoming more common here. Funerals for high-ranking Iranian officials. Their bodies arriving from Syria after being killed in Israeli airstrike. This is the coffin of General Sadek Omizadeh, who was the head of the intelligence unit of Iranian Quds forces in Syria. His wife is angry, but not only at Israel. Way before this, we should have had the ability and the power so that the enemy cannot identify our forces and attack them. I wish we also had this power to attack Israel. This sentiment is shared by many Iranians here. They believe their government should not restrain itself and retaliate with equal force. The most important and the best response to give is to give a hard revenge very soon and confront them and to destroy their bases in the region. The Israeli attack that killed five key Iranian intelligence figures in Damascus on Saturday is a huge blow. Many believe it could significantly reduce Iran's capability to coordinate regional activities. The Iranian government is promising revenge. Crimes by the usurping Zionist regime against the Iranian government and nation have never gone and will not go without penalty. The Islamic Republic of Iran will respond to the crimes by the Israeli regime in its own way. So far, Iran has avoided a direct military confrontation with Israel. Its response is being conducted through what Iran calls the axis of resistance, paramilitary groups in Syria, Iraq, Lebanon and Yemen. There is a rising discontent among Iranians here. They say their government's response is not adequate and won't deter Israel from attacking more Iranian assets. But Iranian officials believe if its responses are not measured, it could mean a war not only with Israel, but with the United States of America. Rasul Serdar, Al Jazeera, Tehran. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.